What's up guys? Welcome to another edition of Painting the Scene. Uh, no. What's up guys? What's on my canvas today? Ugh. What's up guys? Today I'll be doing another landscape painting for you. 16 by 20 on canvas with acrylics. Today's scene is one that I can't wait to visit in person. It is Yosemite Valley, the tunnel view of Yosemite Valley with El Capitan on the left side catching the morning light. And it's a scene that I would love to visit in person. It's been photographed hundreds of thousands of times, if not millions of times. So it's really something special. And in this particular image, you have the water in the foreground with the beautiful cliffs in the background with some of the trees and the cliffs catch that morning light beautifully. So I'm just going to try to paint this scene for you and it shouldn't be too difficult I would think because there's not much detail especially in that water it's all kind of very flowy and just kind of muted tones of different shades of purple and black and white all melded together so I feel like I can get that down pretty well. There's some detail in the cliffs, but I think that shouldn't be too much of an issue. And the trees, I think I can handle that as well. So I don't anticipate spending more than three to four hours on this painting max. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get started.
So here we have the final result. I feel like most of it is pretty close to what is on the picture, but of course there are some areas that I kind of went off track a little bit. With the water, in terms of blending, it's really hard to do that sort of blending that shows on the picture with acrylics. I feel like this would be easier with oils, but with acrylics it's very difficult to do that sort of blending. Um, I did what I could, but there's a little bit more texture in the water than what appears in the photo. It's not that it's off in terms of realism, it's just it's not portraying the same smoothness in the water that you would get from this shot, which is probably a little bit of a longer exposure than something like this. So that's one change. And then the more obvious change is that I added something completely to the painting, which is not in the photo. All these rocks and grasses coming up in the foreground here. I added that on because I realized, number one, that I kind of messed up a little bit in terms of where the horizon line is. On the painting, it's a little bit higher up in the scene. It's almost halfway up the canvas, whereas on the photo, it's almost at the third, at the lower third mark. So you see more on top, and you've got more of the water in the photo, so that kind of works. But in the painting, I realized after I had done all these layers that there was so much empty space at the bottom, it just didn't feel balanced to me. I needed something at the bottom to add a little bit more interest and kind of balance out the rest of the scene. So I added some rocks in the foreground, and I know for sure that at Yosemite Valley, in this particular area, there's definitely rocks that are on the other side of the bank of the river here. So it's not totally off in terms of the actual scene in real life. So I tied it all together with that, and overall I'm pretty happy with it. It's not as detailed as I probably could have gone, but it's still something that I think turned out pretty well overall. So thanks so much for watching this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you on my next adventure. Out.